Well, hey there everybody, how y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night and welcome back to my channel as always on Deluxe. All right, let's do another what's new in freaking Transformers because I love talking about some freaking Transformers. Heck yeah. So I don't have them in hand, just like chit chat, talk about that good stuff. And so let's uh, sit back and relax. So let's, uh, let's talk about some new Transformers. How about that? All right, all right, all right, let's go. All right, up first, as always, add on kits, add on kits, add on kits for days. And it looks like Collector's Crafts has printed off a Matrix of the Primes for their Prime Masters for uh, Powder Primes. It looks pretty cool. So, shaped as a Matrix, and you can put the little, you know, Prime Masters in there, and it looks pretty cool. That's a nice little display. You know, I don't care much for the Power of the Prime stuff, but that's a nice little display for them if you have all of them. So, that's pretty cool. So, this is Collector's Craft. Go check them out on Facebook. And this is the Matrix of the Prime, uh, Prime Masters. All right, that's good stuff. And we got some new stuff from Jizia Toys. Uh, I always talk about them. Uh, but yeah, this is Soundwave Squeaky Hammer. I have no idea what this is from. If anybody does, definitely hit me in the comments. Uh, so they made a squeaky toy. It looks like, you know, kind of his, uh, you know, uh, guns and stuff and everything. You can actually store it on the back too as well. So yeah, there you go. Jizia Toys Soundwave Squeaky Hammer. All right, good stuff. And it looks like 115 Utopia has got an upcoming kit for the Mayhem Attack Squad Bludgeon. So it looks like it's getting new shoulder pads. It looks like a new cannon, it looks like that. Um, so not very many pictures of it or anything. Not very, very much as far as description as well. So, uh, But when I get some more information, I'll definitely put that out. So there you go. 115 Utopia is making a kit for the Mayhem Attack Squad Bludgeon. All right. All right, we got some new stuff from Fun Bee Studios. So I talked about this guy the last time, and I didn't know who he was until I saw the movie. So this is Stevie from the Transformers 1. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do any spoilers or anything like that, but he is in the movie. Uh, so they got, you know, a Steve uh, for them. They make a mishmash of parts and only sporting half of his body propped atop a little stool, uh, giving him a bunch of articulation on his elbows and shoulders and also pivoting action for his neck and uh, to, to tilt his head from the sides as well. So yeah, there you go. It looks pretty cool. Uh, like I say, if you, watch, if you watch the movie, you'll know who this guy is. So this is Steve uh, from Fun Beat Studios. Definitely go check him out. You can uh, you know, download or, you know, join the Patreon and you can uh, download the 3D files, uh, 3D files and uh, you can uh, print them off and everything. So that's pretty cool. So there you go. Fun Beat Studios giving us Steve. All right, let's move on to third party legends. My favorite thing to talk about. We got new images from New Age Toys, 867 Varan. Uh, this is their snarl. This is the uh, the Toon Deco, and uh, yeah, got mine sent off from Show Z. So excited to get this, man! There are some great pictures. I love all of them five together, and I love the whole group shot of all of them together, man. I can actually make that shot too as well. So man, I'm freaking excited. So there you go, New Age Toys. This is their snarl and uh, in hand images, and we also get to see the box, and that's awesome. Can't wait for this. Get in my collection. Let's go. All right, we got some new stuff also from New Age Toys. S01 and Romulus. Now I showed this last time. Uh, we've seen pics of him and everything, but we also have comparison shots next to uh, the Earthrise Optimus Prime. Now, at first, I thought he was going to go with the Studio Series, but he is going to be a little bit shorter than uh, the Studio Series Optimus Prime that just came out from the 86 movie. So, the reason why I think this is because, you know, this is coming out next month, so they've had this planned out for a couple years probably already, and, you know, the Studio Series Optimus Prime, they didn't know about. So, they actually, you know, uh, put him up against the Earthrise, which he does scale with Earthrise Prime, so if you have him, you can definitely scale but I think they're all going to make an Optimus Prime in this scale again to kind of, you know, mirror the uh, Studio Series one. I think that's what's doing. I don't, you know, don't quote me on that. I don't know for sure. But I'm thinking the reason why it only uh, scales with the Earthrise one is, like I said, because they didn't know about the Studio Series Prime, you know, a couple years ago. So that's, I think that's the reason why he only scales with the Earthrise Prime. A lot of people are upset because he doesn't scale with the Studio Series one. So I will see. But yeah, you can see some comparison shots uh, sitting in the throne. And you got some next one, you know, next to, you know, break down some other Stunticons and everything. So that's pretty cool. So there you go. We got some new picks from New Age Toys. This is S01 Romulus, and this is our Megatron. And I, I can't wait to get him. He looks freaking awesome. All right, let's go on and move on to third party and masterpiece news. This is Mech Invasion, and we get to see in hand picks of their Giant Legion GLA01 Loader and GLA02 Mixers. This is Scrapper and Mixmaster. Uh, so, this is a highly stylized uh, Devastator and Constructicons. Uh, but the difference is that these are now the arm bots instead of being the leg bots. And so they're kind of doing a different take. And we get to see the bot in alt mode and everything. We get to see them with a, a you know thing of kittens. So that's awesome. You know, who doesn't love some little kittens and everything? So yeah, it looks like they're, you know, really, you know, like I said, heavy stylized and they're doing something different than what normal Devastator is. So there you go, Mech Invasion. And this is Giant Legion. This is their Mixmaster and their Scrapper. 
And we got some new picks from Dreamstar Toys. This is a DST02001 Forklift Warrior. Uh, this is their, uh, you know, Constructicons, and they're also their Devastator. Now, we only get to see Scrapper, and uh, we get to see him in his bot mode, his alt mode, and his combined mode. Uh, he is the leg, and you know, so they're doing everything, the, you know, the right way that uh, Devastator was uh, portrayed. But, uh, yeah, really nice job on the paint. My gosh, like I said last time, the purple and the metallic green go really well together and it shows his weapon and everything it looks like he's you know highly stylized and he, you know it's got some nice uh you know articulation as well so there you go this is dreamstar toys and this is their version of their constructed cons and now uh, this is their forklift warrior and this is their scrapper all right so we got some new in hand picks of x transbox toys mx47 ron this is their iron hot and we get to see all the uh you know accessories he has and he comes with a whole lot of accessories we get to see the bot mode the alt mode uh the different faces he has uh, looks like he has like a uh, you know a metal detector, <laughs> so he's looking for stuff in the you know on the beach or something. I don't know, that's wild. But yeah, tons of accessories. And you can see the sled and everything. So there you go. This is X-Transbots Toys MX-47 Ron. This is her iron hide. All right, so we got some new picks from Nako Make. This is Ross. Uh, I guess it's Cross. I guess it's X R O S S. I think the X is uh, silent. Uh, but zero one Megalon. This is like a highly stylized uh, Megatron. I guess their you know take on Megatron. Uh, they're also doing an Optimus Prime Zero Two as well, and uh, this looks pretty freaking wicked, man. Um, this, I don't think it transforms. I don't you know don't quote me on that. Like as always, I don't know for sure, but I don't think it transforms. Uh, but we we get to see the front and the back of him, and we also get to see the uh, uh, boxies coming in as well. Uh, so this is from Nako Make, and uh, they're doing a I guess it's a Ross a Zero One Megalon. And this is their version of Megatron, like a highly stylized, as always. And it uh, looks pretty freaking weak. I like the paint on him, the nice silver and the purple and everything. looks really good. So there you go. All right, first time seeing this, Metal Model Galaxy Warrior. Uh, this is kind of a knockoff kind of thing going on. Uh, but it's kind of a mix mash of uh, Cybertron Optimus Prime and the RID 2015 Optimus Prime, uh, especially in, you know, alt mode. And he's got the, you know, the wings and everything from Cybertron. He does come with the axe and gun and all that stuff. So, yeah, it looks you know, pretty cool, I guess, if you like this type of thing. It looks like he's uh, maybe Voyager scale, looks like a little bit. So there you go. This is Metal Model Galaxy Warrior, and this is a Cybertron and RID mishmash of Optimus Prime. And yeah, pretty cool. All right, let's move on to official Transformer news, and we got more official images and information on the Manju Netsuke Optimus Prime. So this was a special Optimus Prime figure we can transform into a Manju Netsuke, a classic and traditional miniature sculpture used to, as a button fastener. Originating in the 17th century in Japan, it is going to be priced at $4,532, becoming one of the most expensive Optimus Prime figures ever. So we, uh, the sample was on display at the Transformers 4th Anniversary Expo in Japan, and it's confirmed to be only, only going to be 10 units worldwide. So if you want to get a chance of this expensive Optimus Prime button, fa uh, button fastener, uh, you only have you know 10 you know chances to get this. So definitely go check out the uh, display and check out the pre-order if you want to get one. So there you go. There is official images and information on Manju Netsuk Optimus Prime button fastener. All right, let's go. All right, so we got some in-hand images of Transformers Legacy United Dinobot Dino King multi-pack. Uh, so we have, our, we have our first in images. Dino King is a redeco and retooling of the Legacy Evolution Core Class Dinobot Combiner Vol uh, Volcanicus. Inspired by the Transformer Victory Dino King cartoon colors plus uh, some new extra parts and weapons, we have a clear shots of six Dino Force members. And uh, top it off, we have comparison shots in Dino King Combiner mode next to the original Vol uh, Volcanicus Combiner. And uh, some you know fun combinations and everything. So there you go. in images of Legacy United Dinobot Dino King Multipack. And I think you can get it on pre-order right now everywhere and that's awesome all right looks like in canada studio series 86 commander class optimus prime was released and it was found in gangstop in ontario and a uh, happy honey all right we got a possible first look at super 7 upcoming reaction redecos of ghost of starscream metallic grimlock rumble g1 g1 toy rc and dx megatron packaging uh, these are new special redecos of previous reaction toys and everything you got the uh you know ghost star scream and everything and uh, that looks pretty cool i'll probably have to get that uh likely we're going to be uh target exclusives and uh yeah so there you go we got the uh, first look at some of the super seven upcoming reaction redeco all right so we got another collaboration transformers and youtubes uh full reveal optimus prime bumblebee and megatron figurines so YouTubes is a Canadian company that manufactures licensed vinyl uh, collectible f uh, figures. And now we have uh, bringing our first Transformer collaboration. We have our first promotional images of Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, and Megatron. The designs look like a cartoon 
our cartoonized uh, G1 style and some toy inspired decos as well. Uh, Pre-orders are planned to be going live uh, September 20th and are going to be priced about $30 each and expected to ship around March 15th or April 15th of next year. So there you go. Uh, another collaboration of Transformers and U2s. I guess that's how you say it. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. All right, we got some new picks from official Transformers Don't Fight merchandise. Uh, so this is a line, very cute, super deformed G1 Transformers released on several new official items like bags, cushions, plush toys. Uh, we got stands, keychains, cases, all that good stuff. These were revealed and sold at the Transformers 4th Anniversary Expo in Japan. So there you go. We got some official Transformers Don't Fight merchandise. All right, looks like Flint Dilly's Transformers character binder now online, full 1987 lineup. So the last major Transformer-related item uncovered from the storage of former Sunbow producer um, Flint Dilly back in 2020 is now available online for all fans. Flint's character's binder, which received its latest update on December 3rd of 1986, nearly all the 1987 toy lineup is represented with uh, its uh, 333 pages, as well as a copy of uh, Bob Budidinsky's <laughs> treatment of the Marvel Comics Headmaster miniseries as well. So yeah, there you go. I'll put the uh, I'll put everything in the description if you want to go check it out. So there you go, Flint Dilly's Transformer character binder uh, now online. Pretty cool. That's awesome. All right, we got a behind the scenes from Transformer Legacy United G2 breakdown. So courtesy of Hasbro designer Mark Mayer uh, on his Instagram account, we can share of his write up and images about the develop, development of the Transformer Legacy United G2 breakdown. Uh, so I'll put everything in the description if you want to read all that stuff and everything. So we get to see the uh, alt mode and bot mode and everything uh, for the upcoming Transformer Legacy United G2 breakdown. So there you go, behind the scenes, all right. All right, we got some new character posters from Transformers 1, yes, official Transformers Instagram account. Uh, these posters feature the four main Transformers characters in Neo-Line uh, Neo line Effect. We have group posters and individual, individual posters as well. So there you go, more posters from Transformers 1, yay. And it looks like Transformers Legacy United Core Class Wave 3 is out in U re uh, US retail. This has Galvatron and uh, Geochron. And these were found in uh, Madison, Wisconsin, so happy hunting. All right, looks like there's an interview with Hasbro designer Evan Brooks which was, uh, from Triple Takeover YouTube channel. I'll put that in the link in the description if you want to go check it out. Uh, so the hosts were well-known members of the Transform community, and they bring us two hours of fun and revealing chat with Evan Brooks, talking about behind the curtain of what goes on producing toys and all the love uh, that goes into it, including working relationships with Takar Tomi and some clues about what might be on the horizon. So if you want to go check that out, like I said, I'll put everything in the description. And there you go, uh, interview with Hasbro designer Evan Brooks. And it looks like Blocky's Transformers Galaxy version Wave 5 Transformers 1 characters revealed. So we have a new wave of uh, small, chibi, easy to build model kits, which I really love. They're really fun. We got Ironhide Cogless, Hound Cogless, Death Tracker, Sentinel Prime, and Wheeljack Cogless. So uh, we have a look at the packaging and we have the new wave featuring block, uh, Blocky's Transformers 1 Optimus Prime Final Form. The wave is planned to be released of September 20th. So a couple of days, you'll get to get these Blocky's Transformers 1 Wave 5. All right, man, I can't wait to get these. All right, looks like Transformers Legacy Star Raiders Deluxe and Voyagers found in U.S. retail. Uh, these were uh, consist of, it looks like, a Star Raiders Deluxe Cannonball, Flinch, uh, Lockdown and Road Pig, and Voyager Ferric. Our Walmart stores in Connecticut, Maryland, Oklahoma, and Alabama. Roll tight. Uh, still no signs of laser, laser uh, Thundertron multi-pack, but I'm sure it will be showing up pretty soon as well. So yeah, happy hunting. And we got an interview with the voice of Prowl, Michael Bell. Uh, Mr. Bell is well remembered for Prowl's voice of the original G1 cartoon. It also voiced some other Transformers characters like First Aid, Brainstorm, Sideswipe, Swoop, Scrapper, and more. So it's going to be about a seven, eight minute uh, interview and everything. And like I said, I'll put everything in the description if you can go check it out. So there you go. Voice of Prowl interview with Michael Bell. All right, good stuff. And a quick happy Transformers Day. Yay! 40 years, man. Back in 1984, September 17th, we got to see the G1 cartoon. And man, it's just been 40 years of just greatness. It's a great time to be a Transformer collector. And after 40 years more of Transformers, I hope it lasts forever. So there you go. Happy Transformers Day. Yay! All right, so we got some new drops in inbound with listing of Transformers 1 Studio Series figures recently revealed. Sentinel Prime, B127, Bumblebee, and Alita 1 are now live across the web. So you can get these at uh, TF Source, Big Bad, uh, Big Bad Toy Store, Chosen Prime, wherever you want to order these from, you can get these uh, figures and everything. I'm really excited for this. Uh, I like the Studio Series Prime, so I'm hoping we get every one of the characters for Studio Series. So there you go. There's Sentinel Prime, Alita 1, and Bumblebee for Studio Series, and they're up for pre-order. Go get them. All right, so we got some new picks from Waste Studios Collectibles, Transformers 1, Optimus Prime, and Megatron Final Forms. Uh, these are statues. So Optimus Prime Final Form is limited edition. Both of them are limited edition. Uh, so it looks Optimus Prime is going to be about 21.2 centimeters tall with a base. 
Uh, looks like he has two sets of interchangeable hands, two weapons, a gun and an axe, a base, a limited edition number nameplate. Uh, now all the, the waist shoulders and waist are movable. He's got magnetic control, breathing lights, and eyes in the chest. Megatron is one body, one base, one limited edition numbered nameplate. The head, shoulders, and waist are movable with magnetic uh, controlled breathing lights and um, uh, eyes. So Optimus Prime alt mode, the wheels are movable, and the Megatron alt mode, the turret is movable. So it looks like you got to buy, buy them separately, and uh, they're supposed to, they are on pre-order right now from September 15th to October 14th of 2024, and they're estimated to uh, be shipped off of October of 2024 as well. So there you go. We got some new picks from Way, uh, Way Studios Collectibles, Transformers 1, Optimus Prime, and Megatron Final Forms. All right, we got a couple in-hand picks for Generation Comic Edition Decepticon Straxus. Uh, he should be, I think he's already, already shipping from Pulse. I think I got my notification. I'm getting this guy, so I'm really excited for this. Uh, we went to see the uh, alt mode. Uh, we can see the bot mode and comparisons with Galvatron as well. So there you go. Generation Comic Edition Decepticon Straxus. Should be shipping now. Can't wait. And we got some new picks from Descartes Transformers. This is TLEX Starscream Super Mode. Uh, this is the uh, recolor of the um, Armada Starscream. And it looks really good. I think that there was supposed to be a couple on BBTS. This was supposed to be exclusive overseas. And I don't think it's going to be released on Pulse or anything like that. I think there was a couple on BBTS. And I've missed it. I wish I would have got this guy. Uh, but I think he's so out. Hopefully I can try somewhere else that maybe that might have this or anything like that. So this is Takar Transformers TLEX Starscream Super Mode. And it looks freaking awesome. I love the blue colors. And we got in-hand picks of Takar Transformers 1 Brave Commander Optimus Prime. We can see the box. We can see him in alt mode. And we can see, you know, different faces that he has. He has two, you know, got the face mask without the face mask. And we can see him holding the, uh, you know, Matrix of Leadership. and comes with his axe. And you can also store it in uh, alt mode as well. So it looks pretty cool. Um, I think these have already been shipping out already. So if you want to get your chance to get this, this is Takar Transformers 1 Brave Commander Optimus Prime. It looks pretty wicked. I like it. All right, we got some new picks from 3-0. Heck yeah. Transformers Age of Extinction. This is Deluxe Lockdown. And he was on display uh, at the Anycom and Games Great Bay area uh, from the 15th and 17th of September. And uh, last time we saw this guy, he was just a great prototype. And now we got some paint on him. And he looks freaking spectacular. All the details and scope work look so good. I cannot wait to get this guy in my collection. So there you go. Transformers Age of Extinction Deluxe Lockdown prototypes on display. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. Can't wait. All right, so Walmart had a live stream today and it was really corny, but uh, they showed off a bunch of 40th anniversary 3-0 stuff. Uh, they revealed the G1 vintage animation inspired decos of the MDLX line of Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, and Megatron. These have been out for months. I'll have them if you want to go check out the review. Uh, they're really cool. And they also showed off the Bumblebee movie Cybertron Prime is now available with an extra add-on kit only at our extra add-on for at Walmart only. So the Hologram Earth accessory will be available for one week on the site. Then the regular edition will go wide at more retailers. Uh, so this is going to be, I've already had this one. I'm probably not going to get it because it just comes with the, you know, earth mode. It stands 11.2 inches tall, 53 points of articulation, die cast metal frame design with advanced range of articulation, has LED lights, tons of, you know, you know, got some accessories, ion blaster and everything, articulation out the wazoo, the details out the wazoo as well. It's a great figure, uh, but like I said, the only thing you get is the earth and everything. So that's cool and everything. So yeah, that was on display as well. And they also put up the pre-orders for the uh, Transformers 1 MDLX line for uh, Alita 1, Optimus Prime, Megatron, and Bumblebee. Really excited for these. Definitely going to get these for uh, my collection because they look freaking awesome. So yeah, there you go. That was mainly the most of what they showed today. They showed a couple other things, but nothing really important. But mainly just 3-0 stuff. And yeah, I'm excited for that. So there you go. Walmart.com had a you know little you know you know thing going on, I guess. But it was really corny. All right, folks, that's it for news this week. And man, jam packed full of great stuff as always. Man, 3 0. I cannot wait to get that stuff in my collection. The uh, New Age uh, Megatron, man, looks good. I cannot wait. Snarl, I have him on the way. Cannot wait for that. Man, is anybody getting that uh, expensive uh, button fastener from Optimus Prime? Is anybody getting that? Only 10 made. So, you know, if you want one, go get you one. But man, it's, as always, a great time to be a freaking Transformer collector. And. Happy Transformer Day as always. Man, hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It all helps out the channel. Hit that comment, you know, if you are you excited for any of this stuff. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers. And good night, folks.